how to create a warped random color line effect in Photoshop CC220 or 219, 218, etc. First thing to do, I want to add some noise. I want to add some colorful noise. So I'm just going to go to filter, noise, and add noise. And set the value as required. Up to you. But I'm going to be about 90. Then after that, go to, because I want some lines. So just go to filter menu and blur and motion blur and set it to the max. Make it go cross, crossways. Now I've got that layer panel, layers panel. So there's layers there, window and layers. Go to the layer menu and duplicate layer. So I've got two layers, exactly identical at this point. But what I want to do is I want to rotate it by 90. So I want the lines to go down as well as across. So edit menu, transform and rotate, set it to 90. Now what you can do, you can blend them. So go to the layers panel again and with the top one selected, set it to darken, multiply, difference, up to you. But I'm going to go with darken. Select both of them, and I'm going to turn it into a smart object. You don't need to do this stage. You could just flatten it at this point. It's just perfectly reasonable as well. But layer menu, smart object, and convert to a smart object. Great thing about smart objects, if you apply effects, etc., you can always go back and remove them or change them, edit them, etc. So image menu, adjustments, and vibrance. I want to push the vibrance up of this. Set it up to the max. Like a nice colorful line design there. And now you could use that. Perfect reason we could store that away in your CC library as a background. But what you can also do is image menu and maybe exposure or levels. And just tweak it a bit just to make it more. Sometimes the other way. Go maybe with the mid, push that to the right. So you can see it, just see it a little bit more clearly. But you can always do other things as well. You can go to the image menu, adjustments, and maybe invert. That's another option. I think sometimes if you look at something, it's not particularly great. What you do, you can always invert it. So filter menu, and now, because I want the warp, I'm going to use liquify. And you can use a variety of different brushes just to warp the design in different ways. So you can just see, you can just, you know, you don't want to push it too far, but you push it to a reasonable distance, and you get this lovely, sort of warped line design effect. And of course you can use other tools such as bloat is in there as well. But you could use, you, know, you could go to the edit menu and transform and warp. You could use that as well and warp the design that way. But the one thing about liquify the filter is it's a smart filter. You can always remove the smart filter and you can always buy multiple smart filters. So once you're happy, press return, apply it. There you've got your lovely warped design. Now at this point, you can go to image menu and I'm just going to flatten it, of course. Layer menu and flatten image. So it's all flattened now. So just going to go to auto. -tone. Now auto tone doesn't always produce a great result. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Just run it there. It's fine. But you can always undo if you're not happy with the result. And go to image adjustments and again, something like levels. Or maybe go to invert. Sometimes the, I always find the invert is better than the current image. And then use auto tone. Get a better result sometimes. Up to you. Again, you can tweak the colors in all kinds of ways to create all kinds of beautiful designs. And what you can then do, of course, is you can go to like other filters, such as filter menu and stylize and oil paint. Set those to the max. Maybe use the lighting as well. Creates a nice 3D effect. Of course, you can also use the design you've just created in the 3D menu. You can go to 3D menu and then maybe use it as a, a map to create some really interesting 3D backgrounds. 
And again, you can go to image menu adjustments and maybe levels and just tweak it again just to brighten it up a bit. Crunch us in together. Once you're happy with your design, click OK. And there you have it. A lovely, distorted, colourful, warped line design in Photoshop. Photoshop CC220. Again, apply. Oil paint a few times. I always like oil paint two or three times instead of just once. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator and many others. So please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Also, a dislike or like, always appreciated. Also, some comments. Thank you much.